Our next team represents Ukraine. 17 year old Maria Pinchuk, 21 year old Mikita Pogorilov. Second after the rhythm dance. And we'll need a 93.66 to take the lead of an 88.19, their personal best. They'll skate to Vogue by Madonna and Frozen. Maria Pinchik and Mikita Pogorelyov, he turned 21 last Sunday. Can he celebrate with his partner with another win as the Ukrainians cheer them on? So if they win, then that would mean 50% of the Junior Grand Prix events this year have been won by Ukrainian teams. And from... In dance. That's in dance, yeah. <laughs> from the same coaches. Wow. And they've had to relocate yeah. to Vienna to do that. It's, it's an amazing story of of hard work and tenacity in spite of perseverance such, yeah difficult circumstances that was a good program uh, and that they delivered that at a higher level than we saw this morning even absolutely and it's really interesting obviously the completely different take and more open than the germans here working through the one foot but more flow and glide so p to me potentially it could push the skating skills component score higher this is so difficult that 
continuous movement through the straight line leading into the rotational lift. And her arm movement just working the grade of execution as the difficult exit is delivered. Choosing to do a character choreo step within the program, often it is reserved for the final element to just push. It was early the on. Yeah, comparatively so. But the whacking. Was it 80s again? I don't know. Choreo slide element, unique and creative and difficult too with that exit. So Irina Pegena and Artem Koval won surprisingly, as I might say, in Budapest last week. They're training mates and coach Galina Churilova, who has relocated with her student to Vienna in Austria, will be bursting with pride. They need 93.66. It would be a surprise. The assumption would have been that Daria and Mikhail would have won, but have they exploited the mistakes made by the German team? We will see. Well, 90.46 is their personal best. 88.19 is their season's best. Well, they're going to beat probably both that score, but they'll need a 93.66 to take the lead. It's interesting. You wonder what Maria and Mikita were hoping, expecting for. I'm saying that Daria and Mikhail were the favorites, but maybe this team now, after their win in Istanbul, is eyes on the prize. Maybe they're... Well, maybe they're going, well, why aren't we the favorites? Exactly, yeah. And maybe after this, they will be. Who knows? And a win would definitely secure them a spot to compete <laughs> in the final. I assume first or second will be enough. But she can't quite get that to it. <laughs> <set right. laughs> there we go. <laughs> Teamwork. Oh, nice to see the blue and yellow of the Ukrainian flag and the ribbons as well. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> And they look pretty happy with that performance, and so they should be. It was like right on cue. There wasn't anything really off or no. tripping or you know stumbling or anything like that. It was solid performance, and I think the scores will oh, no, maybe. Then. The dance spin, it was a bit sketchy, the dance spin. Oh, yeah. That's just dropped two levels, and that is making the difference potentially. That is huge. Season's best, Danny, 2.20. That is first in the free ah. dance, but... It's a 154.43. That's second overall, and that was because that drop on that mm. dance, on the, uh, sorry, the dance spin at the end. Wow, we just saw that happen in front of our eyes. Wow.